name is Devin Laramie. And I'm Park Deloge, and today we are going to explain industrial hazardous waste. To begin, you need to know just what a hazardous waste is and where they come from. Basically, a hazardous waste is any waste that has properties that can potentially make it dangerous to the environment and humans. Hazardous waste can be liquids, solids, gases, or even sludges. Often, they can be the byproducts of manufacturing processes, but they can also simply be thrown away commercial products such as cleaning supplies and pesticides. Also, because hazardous waste is so abundant and diverse, the EPA, or the Environmental Protection Agency, has separated them into three different categories to help us. The first, the F lists, are waste from common manufacturing such as solvents often used in common household cleaning. The second category is the P list, or U list, which, is, which contains specific commercial chemical products such as unused pharmaceuticals. The third and final is the K list. The K list includes waste from more specific industrial processes such as petroleum refining, pesticide manufacturing, certain sludges, and even wastewater. This list covers the majority of industrial waste, which is what we are going to focus on. In addition, because not all waste fall under the three categories set by the EPA, there are four different descriptions that help determine whether or not a specific waste is hazardous or not. These four categories are toxic waste, which can damage the health of people or other organisms, reactive wastes, which are not themselves explosive, could contribute to an explosion, ignitable wastes, which catches fire easily, corrosive waste, which eats through metals and other substances. Now that we have established just what a hazardous waste is, it is also important to know specific industries that cause the bulk of this waste. Industries like chemical manufacturing, vehicle maintenance shops, the paper and printing industries, the construction industry, cleaning and cosmetic manufacturing, furniture and wood manufacturing, and finally metal manufacturing. Each one of these industries produces a different type of hazardous waste that has its own harmful effect upon the environment and human. And because there are so many different industries that produce such a wide variety of wastes, the EPA has set up specific guidelines for how each type is generated all the way to how they are ultimately disposed. First of all, every type of hazardous waste that is produced is automatically given a tracking number so that the EPA can constantly know where it is and know that it is being handled properly. Secondly, the EPA has to give clearance to any facility to treat, store, or dispose of any kind of hazardous waste. Also, the EPA strictly regulates where, when, and how all wastes are transported so that, when they, so that they can ensure that accidents will be kept to a minimum. To do this, the EPA requires that all transporters are equipped with the proper cleanup tools in the off chance of an accident and also require that wastes are marked so that cleanup crews know exactly what they are dealing with. So you may be asking what eventually happens to all this waste that is produced day after day. Well, because all wastes are not the same, and some are more dangerous than others, there are a few different techniques that are often used to minimize the risks involved with such harmful products. The three most common places that waste ultimately end up at are treatment facilities, where wastes are either altered to be reusable, or are treated to reduce the amount of hazardous materials. Two, storage facilities, where harmful materials are held until they are either treated or disposed of. And three, disposal facilities, which place hazardous waste in landfills after they have been properly treated. In addition, one particularly common and useful way to treat and dispose of harmful materials is to burn them. In the U.S. alone, almost four tons of hazardous waste are burned annually, which should give you a good idea of just how much waste there really is. And that's about all there is to industrial hazardous waste. Thank you.